You scared Chin Jun to fight me, said Zhuo Junji, having the Av constipation mock up how our boy is rendered to be the king of Yu, despite being in the seventh foundation established Nan Yuxin and impressed when she knew Master Jun was Chin Jun, not believing that the useless Chin Jun may not be strong as the rumors says he is. So this bitch told Chin Jun the blicky executioners that if he is afraid to accept the challenge or what? Bitch, shut the fuck up! said Chin Jun, as he continued telling Nan Yu Shin to mind her words, or her ass would not be forgiven. You're goddamn right. I don't know if Chin Jun was threading her or provoking her as the narrator, I have no clue, but way I can say those words, just... Sensational. <laughs> laughing. She tells Kin Jun to relax that despite him being on the mid-realm of the Foundation Establishment realm, he can't beat the number one genius of the Zhuoling sect Zhuo Junji, telling our boy if he thinks he is still the mysterious young man who defeated Zhuo Junji. I don't know what to say or be shocked or surprised by your stupidity and lack of reasoning. I am the mysterious Master Jun, and you ask me if I think I'm still myself listening to you, woman, is like my brain cell are getting destroyed to compensation of listening to your stupidity. Junjie called out, Hey Zhuo Junjie, I accept your challenge for I want to try a new skill. I have need to try the back shot suspender. What did he say? <laughs> Wait, what? That's really? Sus my guy. Really sus. Wait, hold, hear me out. Let me explain. I wasn't joking. Am dead ass prepare for serious backshot kets begin the battle you brainless of an opponent. At the battle arena, Zhuo Junji, whom was under the demonic control, stood in a battle stance. Please, the backshot attack is a skill am straight as hell all can confirm my preference. Ask Nan Ming sect master. She knows it vividly. Zhuo Junji, not letting Qin Jun finish his rumbling, launched towards him, ready to attack him, launching his word straight to Qin Jun's chest, which was blocked using the dragon slaying spear. Chin Jun was not sure why Zhuo Junji would just attack him without saying anything he knew. This isn't Zhuo Junji behavior because this idiot would have given a speech before battle. You may think he was a motivational speaker or a certified self-glazer. With swift slash that approached with force of a nascent realm, force made Zhuo Junji back away knowing he can't block such attack. Before landing, Zhuo Junji drew his sword trying to launch a sneak attack at Chin Jun aiming at his head. This made Chin Jun to question himself. Was this spar about learning from each other? Why does this empty headed targeting my life? Die, 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 ha ha ha, Zhuo Junjie shouted with the expression of a psychopath, preparing to launch a powerful attack toward Chin Jun. Chin Jun braced himself, focusing his energy. I won't let you win, he muttered, ready to counter with his newly trained skills. Thank God my speed was faster, a little bit slower, and this idiot would have aimed for my chest, thought Chin Jun as he blocked Zhuo Junjie's relentless attacks. Zhuo Junjie continued his barrage, not giving Chin Jun a moment to catch his breath. Chin Jun could barely keep up with Zhuo Junjie's relentless onslaught. I need to find an opening, he thought, dodging another strike. As he parried and countered, he realized this fight was the perfect opportunity to test his new supernatural power skill. Seeing he had no time to dodge the incoming attack, he activates the Tiangang 36 transformation. He began to shrink, and even his aura began to fade away, erasing his presence and aura. The crowd was surprised and shocked, wondering where Chin Jun had gone. However, since the audience was filled with top geniuses, they could sense some of Chin Jun's aura on the battle arena, leaving them in awe of his impressive technique. Shit, did this fool fart while attacking me? The air around here makes the abyss fell freezing, like this man's fart comes from the shadow realm. Where the fuck did that fucker go? I heard stories about people vanishing out of the blue. I didn't expect Chin Jun to take it that seriously, thought Zhuo Junji. Thoughtfully, I learned breathing techniques from Daji can use spiritual aura and hold my lungs with aura, or this pig could have assassinated me by the sheer presence of his platonic ass nuclear fart. Chin Jun having a close look at Chin Jun solidified his claims when he saw that Zhuo Junji was emerged all over with demonic energy that even the top geniuses couldn't notice it, and the person behind it may not be as simple as it seems, and may be testing him. Chin Jun realized that the more he prolongs the fight against Zhuo Junji, 
the more the person behind the demonic power was observing and analyzing his skill. Oh, shit. What if that guy a pervert who wants to get close and see the assets of Daji, and by doing so, wants to get rid of me? Seems they are eyeing on my beloved waifu Daji, as a president of all virgin thy shall stand strong, till the chains of hell that is engraved on him, maintaining the title of virgin, shall not happen a second time in this lifetime, to die as a virgin. And of that's the case, let me fulfill the celestial backshot spine suspender, uttered Chin Jun, as he rotated the the dragon slaying spear, facing the hilt towards Zhuo Junji ass. Chin Jun reversed the Tiangang 36 transformation, turning back to his original size, while unleashing his super hidden technique, celestial Celestial backshot spine suspender and directly striked straight into Zhuo Junji's ass. <coughs> Screamed Zhuo Junji. But this scream didn't satisfy Chin Jun at all. He had to hit Gear 3 Gum Gum Booty Expander <coughs> and exerts force. <laughs> moaned Zhuo Junji. At a room we see mysterious person meditating covered with demonic energy around him, similar to the one that had possessed Zhuo Junji. Next second, the mysterious person felt that the connection he had on Zhuo Junji was severed by Chin Jun, causing him to spit blood. Wiping the blood from his mouth, wondering how Chin Jun technique hurt him, making him to contemplate if it was a supernatural technique, making him to stop controlling Zhuo Junji the time being, and he began to feel an excruciating pain in his butt crack, wondering why. Really him. Really him. You're a victim! Mm. Here we go, CSI. Holy shit, Chin Jun's celestial backshot spine suspender technique was so powerful that affected both Zhuo Junji and the caster of the demonic energy feel his technique. Damn bro looks at me as if I'm the one who did the celestial backshot spine suspender to him. The mysterious man made a grin of excitement, not waiting to meet the king of Yue. Stop it. Get some help. Bro received backshot technique as it was emailed to him, and he can't wait to meet Chin Jun. The first duel between the top genius of the Zhuoling sect, Zhuo Junji, and the king of Yue, Chin Jun, has concluded, and the winner is Chin Jun, with his terrifying technique called Celestial Backshot Spine Suspender stated the announcer. Chin Jun asked the other geniuses who wanted to challenge him next, then suddenly remembered that the challenge between geniuses was scheduled for a later date, not now. Embarrassed, he scratched his head and chuckled, guess I got a bit ahead of myself. The crowd murmured in amusement, and the tension in the arena eased slightly as everyone waited for the next event. Nan Yuxin, unhappy with Chin Jun's way of winning, told him it was disgraceful. Chang Qian quickly retorted, watch your filthy mouth that matches your appearance. That one there was a violation, personally I wouldn't have it. Chin Jun already defeated Zhuo Junji at the Zhuoling sect. This shocked Nan Yuxin, which she asked, When did Chin Jun defeated Zhuo Junji? At which Chen Chen told her that Chin Jun was the mysterious person she was talking about Master Jun. This made Nan Yuxin ponder if he was really the mysterious young man, then why did Chin Jun tell her? Chin Jun, sipping a glass of refreshments, was inwardly thinking about how Zhuo Junji got caught with demonic energy. With this, he knew he needed to get stronger in order to investigate and see who was behind the scenes. If he knew, he would just take the person behind the demonic energy's virginity. The next... <laughs> the next morning... At 3 a.m., Chin Jun was exhausted after being awake and busy the whole day and night. Finally, he got a chance to retreat to his chambers. Later... Chin Jun heard system prompt notifying him he had completed the system mission to overwhelm the geniuses, and he received a random lottery chance. Seeing this, Chin Jun was happy he had completed the mission, cause he was planning later that day to hit more of his opponents with the advanced celestial backshot spine suspender. Finally, I need to hurry back to the room and do the draw hope I receive, an M16 or and AK-47, said Chin Jun with mischievous smile. This man is trying to assemble the quite kid loadout. Back at his chambers, Kin Jun couldn't wait to star the random lottery draw in which the system resounded activating the lottery draw. Chin Jun hoped he could get a succubus love passion harem elixir or maybe bless me with Daji's sensational exquisite clothing. The system awarded our protagonist with Daji's apron. This sight left Chin Jun dumbfounded asking, The system, are you supposed to help me grow or make me a pervert, my lord? Are you asleep, or should I get you? Before she could finish, she was stunned, seeing her apron on our protagonist's hand, holding them in a sensational manner. 
System sound resounded, telling Chin Jun the most terrifying thing than death is your angry woman, especially your lover. Hope you enjoyed your time alive and prepare to see the afterlife. System R, are you planning to kill me? I order you to assist me here, System. 